I don't think that INAV should provide compatibility for the DJI O3A units and the new canvas mode, which is not really a canvas mode. INAV cannot provide the compatibility. The compatibility was broken by the DJI. INAV project has no idea what they did, why they did and why this is not working. Not only they changed something in the standard MSP setup, which just uses the MSP protocol to render OSD like the previous generation of the DJI hardware were doing. They also created absolutely not compatible for unknown reason implementation of the MSP display port. And we have no idea why, because DJI decided that they will not tell anyone from the INAV project of what's really going on. So we as the INAV know that yes, it's not working and have no idea why it's not working. Even assuming that we will provide some kind of the special translation layer that will pretend that INAV is something else, there still will be a teeny tiny issue of the special fonts. Because the font layout is different between the INAV Betaflight and Ardu Pilot. Ardu, Ardu Pilot is really mimicking the Betaflight fonts. There is a need to have a special set on the goggles of the fonts depending on which flight controller we are talking to. And by the way, this also applies to the keys. What Walksnail and what uh, HD0 and what WTF OS did, they just implemented a special set of the fonts for each flight controller firmware. What DJI did? We have absolutely no bloody idea. Right now on the INAV GitHub, there is an extremely long thread about what's going on, why it's going on, and who thinks what about who th should think something. When I checked pre recently, it had already 58 replies, including Joshua Bardwell added something from itself. But so far, looks like that um, the only entity that can fix the situation is the DJI itself. Why? Because we have no idea what they did and how to fix it. And also remembering that uh, DJI never sent anyone from the INAF world or Ardu Pilot even world any kind of the technical specification on either O3 and the goggles to hardware even if we want it, and even if we found time to work on it we have no hardware. I have no goggles and I have no O3 AIR unit to buy it. And uh, well, should I spend uh, this few around a thousand dollars on this thing from my own pocket because DJI decided to break the backwards compatibility? Well, sorry, I'm not that much inclined to do so because, well, no. <laughs> I know that, that this is kind of like an irritating situation, uh, but this is not the first time that DJI is pulling something like that. Uh, when they originally released the DJI goggles, the first generation, they did exactly the same thing. They only provided compatibility with the Betaflight and like ignored everybody, everybody else. And of course, other firmwares kind of like adapted by mimicking that they are beta flight, which kind of sucks. When uh, in the beginning of this year Walksnail released their goggles, uh, INAF was also not supported, but then Walksnail decided, okay, there are enough of the people interested, let's add INAF support to have those special, special goggles and let's uh, just make the product slightly better and sell it. HD0 was interested in INAF almost from the very beginning and they ki kind of very, kind of actively uh, help to support their implementation on MSP DisplayPort. DJI doesn't care. Absolutely doesn't doesn't care. So how, so here it is. It's not working, and we don't know why because nobody told us, and we even have no hardware to figure out why it's not working. Kinda sucks, don't you think?